The word of the day was teamwork, and these soldiers from the 233rd Transportation Company showed just that during their recent outing with Fort Benning's Warrior Adventure Quest program. The trip took the soldiers to the historic Banning Mills' extreme zip lining course near Noonan, Georgia, and included low rope and high rope challenges. The day's goal was to give the soldiers, just back from a year-long deployment, an outlet for blowing off some of the steam they built up downrange. It helps a lot, you know what I'm saying, coming back from downrange and the stuff that we had to go through and cope with, plus the family back at home and stuff. So. Coming here helps you to eat, take your mind off of the stuff that we did over there. It helps you ease your mind, put you to think about what you're doing today and stuff, let you have a little fun, you know what I'm saying? Just take you away from all the drone. And I think it's a great program and I hope it keeps going. Before tackling the high rope challenges, the soldiers completed several low rope challenges that required teamwork, problem solving, trust, and learning how to communicate a little better with uh, your counterpartners. Uh, I gotta say that was the best part about it since everybody could always communicate better. That communication was key to completing the high ropes portion of the course, where the soldiers crossed more than 20 rope bridges and completed seven zip line challenges. This here has got to be one of the best because we get out here, we took an on duty day to go out and decompress, get to hang out with each other, and it's better than anything I've really played with and done in the past. The largest zip line, dubbed the Screaming Eagle, sent soldiers down 2,400 feet of cable, reaching speeds of up to 65 miles per hour. <laughs> Not a bad way to blow off some steam. Sergeant Wendy Hall, Fort Benning TV.